Good morning everyone and welcome back to another Zanti vlog. This is part three. So if you haven't watched part one or part two, then go, go and check those out. Leo, are you saying hello? It is currently about quarter past nine and we are just walking along Alicare's Beach. We've just got our sunbeds at Porto Paradiso and we are going to go along and get some breakfast somewhere. It is actually really hot, but it is a bit kind of like overcast with cloud, but it is meant to break through. Leo's having fun looking for things as he goes along. What on earth have you found? Um, so yeah, we're going to go get some breakfast. We just ordered breakfast, haven't we, Leo? You're having an apple juice. Sat by the sea at Palm Tree. I've gone for yogurt again. And then, Leo, what do you need to go to the shop for today? Nets. Leo's going to go for a net. So go and see if he can get some fishies. Breakfast, I've gone for Greek yogurt with fruit salad and honey. My dad's got bacon and eggs on toast and my mum's got scrambled eggs on brown toast. Leo's not hungry. He tends to not eat anything really till lunchtime. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this. So we're now just walking through Ali Kerr's town. Leo, what did you just get from the shop? Another big water gun. And then what else do we need to go and find, Leo? Gonna go look for a net, aren't you? Obviously, this in the evening is much busier with all the bars and restaurants. Got a fruit shop. Leo's over the moon. He's got himself a net. So we're just walking along the jetty by Porto Paradiso. So we can go and see what he can find. He quite often finds crabs and things like that here. There is a breeze today, which is lovely. Because as soon as you get out of the breeze, it is very, very warm. Um, so yeah, it's a wavier in the sea this morning. Normally it's like a mill pond, so that's Ali Kerr's beach over there. Like I said, it is a bit overcast this morning, but it is, you can still feel the sun coming through the clouds. So I don't think it'll be long before it breaks through fully. Here he is over there on a crab hunt. And then this side of the jetty, you have Ali Kernis. And then this then goes down to the canal. And then over there you've got the harbour in Alicarnas, which is where we got the boat from yesterday. But yeah, I think I'm gonna have a seat here while he's busy looking for some crabs or some little fish. But yes, yeah, so lovely to have the breeze because it has been very, very hot the last few days. That was one lovely thing in my last vlog when we were on the boat because you had the breeze constantly on the boat. It felt so lovely. And then literally the minute we stepped off, it was literally just like no breeze whatsoever, like really intense. But yeah. Leah, what did you find? Oh, it's like a crab claw, isn't it? Normally you tend to find hermit crabs and things like that up here, don't you? We got Fisherman Leo up on the rock. He's still on the hunt. Honestly, he can spend hours here looking for crabs and little fish. Then. It's honestly so lovely on this jetty with the wind coming in. Lovely, lovely breeze. Leo is absolutely loving the waves. He's just been sat either with them crashing over him or he's been had his goggles on. He went out deep and he was just diving into them. Loves it.
nice cold fix in Porto Paradiso. We've got the fan going over there. Lovely sat here. It's turned out to be such another hot day. Yeah, I love sitting in here. It's just so chilled and peaceful. Leo's got his first ever cocktail. What do you think of it? Is it good? Not yeah. sure? You normally have banana milkshake, banana milkshake, don't you? So we've gone for something different. Lunch today, we've gone for a Greek salad, special pizza and a fruit salad, and we're just gonna share all this together. Leo's got an ice cream. Yummy. Leo's having a shower. <laughs> so we've come off the beach and we've come to Lepsos. Leo's in this water fountain. Lovely in here. Leo absolutely loves this pool. The pool literally goes all the way around. Hello, Jaden. I see you. Jaden's going to jump in. Whee! So we've got a nice cold beer. Leo's swimming around in the pool, jumping in still. Hello, Leo Bear. We're just on the way back up to the room now. We left the beach and went to Nissos by Letsos to go in the pool. The kids were desperate to go in there because it's a massive, like, big round pool where they can swim around. So and we went there. In. Yeah, and jump in. So we went there so they could have a swim and a play, got a drink, and then we just walked back. And Leo, where did we stop? Oh. Do you remember what we stopped to get? We stopped to get loads of nice fruit, didn't we? Yeah. Leo picked up lots of fruit and it was so cheap. I'll show you what we got when we get into the room. So this is the fruit that we picked up. We've got a massive bag of fresh grapes in here to share. Then Leo picked up a giant peach and two green apples. And then we also picked up some plums. And this literally was six euros. How amazing is that for all this fruit? And this is literally like a whole bag of grapes. So yeah, really impressed with that. So we are off out again for the evening. Here's my handsome Leo bear coming in another one of his shirts. You always look super cool, don't you? Yeah. Um, so tonight we are going to go and grab, it's actually really late, I think it's about nine o'clock now. We're gonna go and grab a, probably like a gear or something takeaway and then head to Mojo's for the live music. We're gonna go and watch on Donny, aren't we bear? Yeah. So I'll take you We've along. We've had to stop because we bumped into the cat again. Such a lovely cat. So, so cute. Aren't you? You're super cute. So the first thing we had to do, Leo, was go to the shop, wasn't it? Yeah. And what did you get? Uh, three nights at Freddy's Foxy Girlfriend. Another toy, wasn't it? And what did she give you? She gave you a free bubble gum, didn't she? Right, we're gonna go get a takeaway. So I've had to come back in for another one of these waffles with fresh fruit and whipped cream in Pepe Pitagiros. And then we're going to Mojo's for the live music. So sat in Mojo's now, just ordered a drink. I need to pour out my fits, listening to live music. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
video. Whoa, that went quicker than the camera. Good morning, everyone. We are up and out this morning because we have just come to pick up our hire car for the day. I've hired it from Dimitri in the Mulberry Bar. Just waiting for him to come down and give us the keys. We are a little bit early um, arriving here. Leo's still fast asleep from last night, so he is in the room. My mum's with him. My dad's just come down with me to grab the car. We'll then go back and get all sun cleaned up and ready for the day. And yeah, then we're going to go and explore the island. So we've just got out of the car. We were going to stop at Ixia Beach um, where you got the sulfur water, but it was absolutely rammed. The car parks were so full. I think because it's August and it's such a tiny kind of little area um, and everyone wants to go there, it's just so busy. So we kept going along the road and we've come to another place where they have this big parking area um, and there is a spot where you can go and get in the water. So I'll show you when we get round there and I'll find out what it's called and let you guys know. So we are at Macrius Galos. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation. But yeah, look how beautiful this is. Then over here, that's the road we come down. You've got some taverners up on the top. I bet you've got beautiful views over there. So we're gonna go down here and see if we can have a swim. The water looks beautiful. So we've put our bags down on the beach. How beautiful is this? Water's lovely. Leo's out there already, swimming in. Water is crystal clear. Is it nice, Leo? Very, very pretty. There are some beds on here, but they're either 20 euros or 30 euros. So we've just put our bags down because we're only staying here for a little bit and then we will be heading somewhere else to have a look around. So we've now come off the beach and we've come up to a pool bar. There is actually a pool over there. We're just sat in like a little alcove cave. You've got the view out over there, the sea, having a drink. Leo's chilling in here in the cave. After all this swimming and snorkeling. Lovely and cool sat in here. just come to Porta del Mar for lunch. How beautiful. Nice sea view. Beautiful. So beautiful here. Quite such a lovely meal. <laughs> Leo's stuck in the hammock. What are you doing there? You're on the floor, Leo. We've come down on the beach. How beautiful is this? What have you got? What have you done? <laughs> Clay, cleaning his skin. It's so lovely down here. Just rustic. Very, very peaceful, quiet. Leo's in the sea over there. They're finding clay in the water. This is where we were sat at for lunch. Porta del Mar, they have villas, but there is a restaurant in there. Very, very pretty view. See over there. Lovely. Oh, found Leo. You know I'm the sea unicorn today. It's a skull of it. Leo thinks he's found a big bone. It's a skull bone. Did you have fun playing in the sea with Andoni? Yeah. Good, wasn't it? Lovely here. So, so lovely. So this is where we at, and this place is called Porta del Mar. They have luxury villas up there and a swimming pool, but you can just go into the restaurant. They had lovely, lovely food. I had a chicken pesto dish. Yeah, incredible views. And it's just so quiet and peaceful. So, so peaceful. You've got this little bit of beach here, and then you can walk along there and you've got the church over there. There is also another restaurant over there. Yeah, just so, so lovely. Rub on your tummy. Make your tummy nice and soft. Well, you both shrunk about that. 
Let it dry and wash it off and you'll have lovely soft clay made. Oh yeah, that's such a improvement. You look like a snap. Yeah, that's such a improvement. Have it all off. These are the villas in this complex. How beautiful are they? Then you've also got the pool and that around there, which I showed you when I walked in. So, so lovely. So we've left Port de Mar and we have driven up to the village of Katastari to come to this um, little Traverna over here. The Wally train is here. So from Ali to Ali you can get on this Wally train and it takes you up to the museum in the day and you come here and have a drink. Or in the evening they do like a full like Greek night. Um, we've done that before. But we're just going to go in and get ourselves a nice drink in the cool because it's nice and shaded up here. Got the Wally train and then you've got the church over there, Leo. Want to go see the church? So you've got the bells here, the church, very, very pretty here. I don't know if I can record in there. But yeah, it's lovely up here. And then that's the Traverna over there that we're going in. You can see it's so shaded. It's just so quiet up here, isn't it, Leo? Gonna have a look in the church, Leo? They're normally very, very pretty. It's actually the St. Dennis Festival tomorrow, Leo. Go. Obviously, this is just a small one. The one in Zanti Town is absolutely incredible inside. Catching in the shade. So quiet and peaceful up here. This cat purring like mad, look. They're so friendly. Leo, oh look, it's nuzzling on me. Leo just saw a kitten, so he's gone to see the kitten. Hello. <laughs> Right, we're best going to get a drink. This is the Traverne up here. So if you come up on the Wally train for the Greek night, they do all the um, plate smashing and all that lot. We've come up here before in the day and had a drink, but it looks like it's closed at the minute. They've probably gone for a siesta. But yeah, it's just in a little village. Very, very traditional. Leo, you've got a little kitten. So tiny. Oh, don't you just wish we could take it home there? So cute. So we had a great day going around in the car. Um, the place that we went to for lunch with our friend and Donnie was literally beautiful. I would highly recommend it. And it's not far from Alicarnas. About five, ten minutes even if that. I think it's probably about five minutes just past the Moody. So we're just heading out yeah. for this evening. We had quite a meal, so I think we're just gonna grab something like a waffle or something like that. We don't really fancy another big meal, especially in the heat. Um, and then we're gonna get a drink somewhere. So we've come into Rue Mart. We're gonna sit in here. You can also have it as a takeaway and I'm going to have a pancake. Nice in here. Sat by the road, we've got a nice breeze coming in. Look at that. Pancake with fresh fruits and chocolate. Yum. So just in the Mulberry Bar having a drink and I bumped into Kevin and his granddaughter Livy. Do you want to say hello guys? Lovely to meet you guys. Ah, you got a zombie on you. Is it Jaden zombie? Leo. Look, Jaden zombie. 